Hey everyone, Thunderbolt here, and welcome to Spin Tires. Today we are going to be playing this awesome game, and uh, I'm going to be playing some single player. Um, we're going to be playing, I have no idea how to play this game. Uh, so, let me see. Planes? Um, is there any, like, is there a tutorial to this game or anything? Okay, well, here we go. So, we're going to be playing with the keyboards. I have a, no, oh, it's not connected, though, right now. So, see, W to accelerate, that goes back, R is to change gears, all-wheel drive is E. Um, locking differentials Q, winch is F, handbrake, headlights, um, cameras, see advanced mode, navigation mode, okay, well, it looks easy enough. Alright, so I have no idea what map to play. I know, I've heard that, like, the river and volcano and the hill are pretty hard, so maybe I'm going to start with coast or plains. I'm just going to start with coast. We're going to do casual on this map. And let's go. Ah, okay, here we go. How to play. Use minimap F1 to see where garages, fuel station, lumber station, objectives, and other trucks are. Remove minimap cloakings by driving next to them. Unlock other trucks by driving next to them. Deliver add-ons with garage points to locked garages to unlock them. Install add-ons and follow to lumber station. Pick up, load, and deliver to objective. If out of fuel, serious damage, use special. Use add-on special abilities to repair refuel or tow with other trucks. Use Wasa to control the truck. Press space for parking brake and H to toggle headlight. Hit 1 to toggle camera or left click to move mouse. You can also use the gamepad, menu escape. Uh, oh, okay. I get it. This is a weird way to control the camera. Um, Q is... Q when diff lock is on, wheels always spin at the same speed. When it's off, default torque is applied to wheels that have contact with ground. Truck consumes clearly more fuel with diff lock on. By default, it's off. Torque is applied to rear axis only. Okay, while dragging, gearbox after clicking. Okay, I don't really get the. That's reverse, that's drive. I don't know what that is. That's something completely different, I'm guessing. It must be like park or something. That just stalls the engine out. Okay, so that's drive. That's reverse. Alright, so this is drive. Alright, so I guess we're in the game. So we're at our garage here. Got two different types of trucks. We got cloaking. There's a lumber mill down here with a truck at it. We have to get we have to deliver eight there, eight up there. There's a whole bunch of cloaking around. Um, we got our B type truck here, and the C is down here near the lumber mill. So, oh, whoops. Um, no, I don't want to exit. <laughs> Let's close the map. So, should I go down here with the truck? So I can winch doing that. So there's a winch at the back also. So I figured out how to work this. So I guess we want to probably drive over to. We're going to go to the garage here. 
go into advanced mode. So I can add the trunk to install repair points, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, let's get going. So we want to go down the road this way, it looks like, towards the lumber mill. Or do we want to go explore some places first? Might be... Uh, probably good to go down towards the lumber mill. Um, probably want to get that cloaking, maybe both of those at some point, but... We'll see how this goes. I've literally never played this game before, so we're gonna see how this goes. I'm pretty sure one thing you'd never want to do is probably stop. I mean, I, w I would imagine stopping is probably a bad thing to do. So we made it through that first patch. Oh geez, getting in some deep mud over there. This thing works pretty well in the mud though, it seems like so far. Now is this like a direction I want to go off to? I think you have to, I have to unlock these um, these little storage points. Not storage points, but I have to unlock the cloaking points, so it's actually over this way somewhere. But I think I'm gonna try to stick it down to the lumber mill first. Oh, Jesus. So I'm like barely using any fuel. It's because I think I'm not on... Um, and now I'm using one fuel minute. This, this truck really doesn't use any fuel, but I think that's just because I'm a casual mode. So maybe I should have done... No, I, this is the first time I've ever played, so casual mode will be good. Okay, we're gonna get this way. I think we're getting close to the lumber mill. Yeah, lumber mill is coming up here, so it's basically at the end of this main road. Oh, some deep mud here. Let's get that diff lock going. Okay, we're good. Let's turn that back off again. Got all-wheel drive on. Oh, there's, there's a truck over there we have to unlock. This is the lumber truck. This is what we'll use to deliver the lumber to the objectives. So we're gonna get over here, and we have unlocked the C-Type. It is a 6x6 type truck. So we're gonna go into advanced mode here. We're gonna change truck. We're gonna change over to this guy. And it has a um, has a little trailer on it. So we gotta get over here to the lumber yard now, basically. Load this guy up. We wanna go through here? Why not? Drag it straight through the mud here. Alright, we are in the lumber pit now. Uh, let's see, short logs. Position your truck properly. is properly Oh 
Jesus. Oh, no. Uh, well, I just messed this up pretty badly. Well, this is bad. Let's see, we gotta change the truck. I can't see any of my other trucks from here. Crap. All right, well, here's my type A. I gotta change this guy. Let's shift into reverse here. get through this mud here with our little jeep and we're gonna have to go over here and rescue our big truck Well, that didn't work. All right, so we got a winch. Um, back this up a little bit here. Okay, let's put this guy into part. Get on to advanced mode. This uh, this truck just isn't big enough. Um, let's see. This truck doesn't have a winch on it either, does it? Uh, well, I've definitely gotten myself into a pickle here. Well, I will be right back, guys. I gotta go take care of something real quick. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just remembered. I believe there's some way for me to get back to. Um, there should be some way for me to get back to this, in this truck, back to the garage. Yes. All right, there we go. So. Um, Uh, I can uninstall, so I can change the wheels to big wheels or default wheels. Probably want the big wheels on it, right? Um, it's got the medium log trailer on it right now. Uh, I can attach a the log cart, log carriage. Um, medium log trailer, of course, log cart. So we can put all these other add-ons onto the trailer. I'm not really going to worry about that right now. 
Should go ahead, let's get this guy into drive. All right, and we're good to go. Um, see. Restore that back to normal. That was fun for a while. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this thing driving. We're gonna try to get this back to the lumber yard again. I'm glad whoever's still watching the videos, hopefully bearing with me um, as I literally have no idea what the heck I am doing, so, um, <laughs> this game is a little tough to do. It was a pretty good moment, though, you know, flipping it, like, right off the bat, so, um, I'm gonna get this thing all the way down the road here. This game is very fun though, I, I'm definitely enjoying it um, in the short little time I've played it so far. Um, it's a totally different type of game, uh, you gotta drive these old trucks through the wilderness, and you got a basic objective of delivering wood to different points throughout the map, but you have to get through this treacherous amounts of mud. Um, I mean this is like some heavy duty mud here, so um, it's pretty cool. Got these nice big tires on this truck now. How far from the lumber mill am I? I'm getting there. So you can see this truck is using about five to seven liters a minute as compared to that Jeep is like barely using any at all. I think on hardcore mode it actually uses quite a bit more. Excuse me while I take some a drink of some water real quick. It's very hot here right now. basically there. Yeah, see, there's a little turnoff up here where we can cut down into the lumber mill. So we're going to go ahead and take this little road here. It'll take us towards the lumber area. And we're going to try this again to get these things loaded up on here. distracted by my phone. Crap. No, do not tip. 
Oh, you're joking me, right? Oh my god. Alright, guys. Well, you have just watched episode one of my Spin Tires Let's Play. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna end this episode here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're going back to the garage again. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me drive all the way back there again. We will pick up episode two. Um, back. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna pick up episode two. Episode two will pick up. Um, when I get all the way back down by the lumber mill again um, cause I am not gonna make you guys sit there and watch me make it all the way back there for a third time so anyways thank you guys for watching this is Thunderbolt signing off stay tuned for episode 2 which should be up soon see you guys later